Hi everyone, welcome to Every Day, your daily stop for virtual reality content. My name is Dee, and today I am very excited to be showing you one of my favorite demos called Experience Japan for the Oculus Rift Development Kit 1. Now, Experience Japan is a 360 video demo, and what that means is that as opposed to a traditional VR demo where the scene is entirely represented inside the computer, and when you look in a particular direction, it uses computer graphics to render the scene from your perspective, in fact, from both of your eyes' perspectives, in a 360 video, what they instead do is they take actual video cameras out into the real world. They have a bunch of them, and they stick them together into this arrangement so that for every possible direction, including up and down, there's at least one camera that can see in that direction. Then, when they're all done, they stitch all of those videos together into one big video that shows the scene from all possible directions, and they create a special video player such that when you are viewing it in the Oculus Rift and you're looking in a particular direction, it shows you the part of the video that you would see when you're looking in, when you're looking in that direction. And you can look all around. It'll smoothly move as you move your head. You can look up and down and left and right and turn completely around. And it's very, very cool. Um, and... The, the main disadvantages as compared to the computer rendering approach is it's very hard to do this with stereoscopic 3D, in, or, in other words, with two separate views for your left and right eye. So this particular demo is monoscopic, meaning that there is a single view and it's rendered identically in both your left and right eyes. And this isn't, this isn't actually a huge problem. You have um, a more limited sense of depth than you would in the real world, but you can still perceive depth um, based on a bunch of other cues. For example, um, parallax as your body moves through the world along a path um, based on relative sizes of things. Lots of other cues that give you a good idea of how big things are and how far away they are. So it doesn't detract from the experience too much. Um, now, there have been a bunch of 360 videos before this one. Uh, this is far from the first. Uh, one of the earliest was the Total Cinema 360 videos. They had a bunch of videos of kittens and an advertisement for a bar and some other things like that. And I showed that in one of my earlier videos, which you can check out right here. And I like Total Cinema 360, um, but this demo I actually is my favorite 360 video demo that I've seen so far for a lot of reasons. Uh, one of them is I just like the content. It's really cool to be able to explore a new place and feel like I'm there. And this is a place I've never even seen photos of. And I'm getting to feel like I'm, I'm a real tourist entering these places and looking around and checking it out and wondering what things are. Uh, they take you to a bunch of public locations in this video, and each of them is a little bit different. So it's very well produced, very high quality, very high resolution. I believe the 360 video, that, uh, video file that comes with it is something like 2,400 pixels wide, which is not bad. Um, and the other reason I like it a lot is because this particular uh, video application comes with a video player for the Oculus Rift that is very high quality. It's produced in Unity, and it has a spectacular frame rate performance. Um, at 1920-1200, I get over a thousand frames a second inside this inside this demo, which is ridiculous. And you know, you're not actually rendering anything, which is part, you're not rendering computer graphics, which is part of why it's so fast, but it's still, even compared to other video players, that's very, very good. Um, it's also more accurate than other video players. Uh, some video players like VR player don't do the distortion for the Oculus Rift quite correctly. And uh, this one gets it completely correct because it's using the built-in Unity plugin, which is straight from Oculus and does everything right. Um, and they so it's it's just a great video viewer it's great video content and i really really like this video um i actually when i do demos uh for lots and lots of people in real life i uh the first demo i show them is red frame which is a computer rendered demo of a nice uh, bedroom environment which is really cool and then the second demo i show them if i have time is experience japan because this gives them a side of the 360 video side of immersive experiences which is very different and uh and opens up a lot of opportunities that people don't imagine when they think about VR. Um, so this video is created by Polygon Window Productions, which is not based in Japan. It's actually based in Toronto, Canada. And it was founded in 2012 by William Douglas McMaster. I think he is still the only employee. I don't know for sure. Um, they make a bunch of other productions besides this. They recently did a 360 video for, um, for some racing. Uh, for race cars on a racetrack, and 
Um, that's not actually viewable in the Oculus Rift quite yet. Uh, it is viewable in browser and on mobile devices. I hope it might come to the Rift someday. And they also work on traditional two-dimensional documentaries. Uh, they're working on some films, and they also do photography. So those are a few of the things that they work on. Um, this is the only thing so far that has a Rift demo, but I hope that there will be more Rift content coming down the line from them, because they're doing great work so far. Without further ado, let's get on that plane and get ourselves to Japan. Alright, here we are at the splash screen. Experience Japan. Polygon window. Let's do this. Alright, here we are. We're in Japan. We're in some kind of train station or airport. Oh, now we're walking. We are walking along. Hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. Oh, that guy has a mask. Uh, when people get sick in Japan, they wear a mask so that they don't infect other people. It's just a polite thing. We don't really do that here. I don't know why. We don't even sell those masks here in the U.S. We're on an escalator. If you look right behind you, you can see the guy with the camera, but he's got this black thing in front of him so that you can't see him. All right, we're on the escalator. Whoa, look up at that vaulted roof. Like, even without stereoscopy, you can tell that thing is really big and really far away, like 30 feet away. I guess I should say 10 meters since I'm in Japan. Fish! Oh my god, look at all the fish. Look at all the fish. Hey you, look at the fish. Hi. Hi. Everybody looks at you strangely just because you have a giant camera. Okay. All kinds of neat food here. Oh, that guy has a barrel. Where are you taking that barrel? Huh. Oh my gosh, I'm wearing a cat cafe. I've never been to a cat cafe in real life. It looks awesome. Hello, kitty. What's up? What's up? Cat Cafe is a place where you pay to just hang out with the cats. What are you doing up on that shelf? Whoa, hey, hey, hey. You were right up in my face there for a second. Now we're on the street? Hello. Hey there. Hi, guys. What? Hey, that guy just jumped out in front of me. There's a baby. Hello, baby. When you... If you look very closely at as people walk past you, you can see stitching artifacts as they walk right past you. Oh, look at all these. Where am I? Where am I? Is this some kind of... It's like a river? It's like a river and there's a bunch of ads. You people who know Japan better than me should be able to say what all these places are. So now it starts over automatically, and you can just leave it playing indefinitely as long as you want. And um, it automatically, um, so it plays at 1920, 1200 resolution, um, and that's the maximum it'll go up to. And I think that makes sense because, like I said, the source video is only like 2800 pixels wide anyway, and that's for all 360 degrees. So there's not much point in actually running it at any higher resolution than that. There's Mask Guy again. There's some nice artwork we didn't really look at before. Some people going up that elevator up there. What's that sign say? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, I didn't see those shops before. What kind of shop is that? I can't tell. I just see green and red letters. It's kind of fuzzy. This would work better if I had DK2 and could see in higher resolution. Got some nice view of the girders here. And there's a security camera. You could see the security camera kind of fade in and fade out and fade back in for a second as, as the stitching happened. Why are there plastic bottles floating with the fishes? I don't know. Huh. Hello. Got some lamps here to light up the fish. That guy looks like he's just waiting for customers to show up. But nobody's interested in his fish. He's so sad. Feral guy again. It's the kitties. Is there anything over there? Oh, there is. I didn't see those people over there before. There's like a girl reading a book. Someone in a polka dot dress. I don't know. And that's a cat tree. Big cat tree. But th is there a cat up there in that one? I don't know. Oh, and I didn't see that cat over on that other shelf. 
Hey, Kitty, did you know there's another cat over there? Hello! And you can see downstairs where people are playing with the cats. This is what I mean. It is. There's a guy on a bike. I totally didn't see him before. It's just a totally different... That guy again, who jumped out in front of us. It's just a totally different experience every single time. I didn't notice her turning to look at the camera before. There's that... I didn't see that guy with the beard before either. He's in a blue shirt. He's eating some kind of snack. Those people are taking pictures, I think, in front of the river. And we're done again. One more time, one more time. See if we can catch anything new this time. I really, really like this demo. There's just so many things to see and experience Japan. And I, like I said, I this is one of the first demos I show anybody on the Rift because it really compellingly shows the power of 360 video and how it can take you to these ultra-realistic, real-life places. And... And I mean, there, there are some issues with it, like you don't like the lack of stereoscopy and the lack of parallax as you turn your head. So that makes it harder to perceive depth, both of those factors. But there are still plenty of things to see, and, it's, and it gives you a level of realisticness that you're just never going to get from pure 3D rendered graphics. That guy's got a baby stroller going up the escalator. I didn't know those could go on escalators. Apparently they can. Okay, and there's that, what does that sign say? Are we in a mall, or is this a train station? I think this is a train station. There's security camera again, some girders. There's another escalator across the way, but nobody's using that one. Or is that just a staircase? I don't know. There are some people sitting and having lunch. I didn't see them before. He is watching us. He is suspicious. There are some people doing things with fish. Hi. And we're back in the cat cafe. Hello, kitties. Petting the cat. There are some snacks just sitting on this table right next to us. It is also a cafe, so you can get all kinds of drinks while you are here playing with the cats. Hello, cats. Oh, there's someone sitting next to the, uh, to the camera recording guy right there. Hey, cat. Hey, people. Hey, you watching me? I got my eye on you. Hey, baby. You're in VR, did you know? All these ads. Oh, is that those ads, that was the same. I was over on that bridge over there. I didn't even realize that bridge is where that segment of the video was taken from. And now I'm down here by the riverside. That is really cool. And there's a girl sitting talking to the... Is she talking to the camera recording guy? I don't know. Anyway, I could go around this a million times, but I have to come out of here eventually. So that was Experience Japan, and there's just tons of cool stuff going on in that video, and tons of cool things to see, lots of great environments to just explore with by looking around over and over again. And I think this will be a great genre of, of, of VR, not just 360 video, but virtual travel. Um, and, and I can't wait to see the full version of this with the full narrative and everything. I think it'll be really engaging. And I think it'll have uh, be something we'll, I'll want to watch over and over again. I'll definitely give you my full review when that eventually comes along. And that is all for today. Let me know any thoughts you have about Experience Japan and 360 video. And let me know any other demos you want me to play. That's all for today. And everybody have a great every day.